There is no strip of sand in all of California that attracts the ultra-rich and super-famous like Malibu. And there's no better example of the allure than this cliff-top trophy house with the power to seduce the king of late-night TV, Johnny Carson, after just one visit. Do we know anything about how he found this place? He came to a party and walked in and said, how much? And they said, it's not for sale. And he said, how much? And he wrote an offer that they couldn't refuse. That offer was a reported nine and a half million dollars. More than three decades later, the late night TV icon's coastal compound is owned by a Hollywood power couple looking to sell it for 81.5 million bucks. And they've hired brokers Linda May and Chris Cortazzo to close the deal. This feels like we're in the jungle in Asia. It's so quiet and look at these mature trees. Each one is like a sculpture. When you roll up this hideaway's lush drive, you begin to see what made the talk show host pull out his checkbook and turn this oasis into his full-time residence for almost two decades. There are trees growing in this living room. There are. It's really an indoor arboretum. Every inch of this 7,000 square foot Malibu mansion is drenched in sunlight, thanks to the 30 foot high wall of windows and massive glass ceiling with a giant gilded sun sculpture at its center. Up these stairs is the television star's former master suite. It unfolds over the entire second floor with massive walk-in closets and a corner office that delivers explosive views. We're overlooking one of the most secret private coves in Malibu called Little Dim Beach. You get the city light views, you get the best surf spot. Outside is where Johnny soaked in his success with a waterfall that flows into a swimming pool carved into the rock terrace and a pond where even the fish date back to the Carson years. These are by far the biggest koi fish I have ever seen. They're the size of dolphins. They've been here for almost 30 years. The four acre estate continues across the street to a separate plot of land where the TV star could host visitors in a two bedroom guest house, enjoy a workout in his open air gym, or just relax in his luxurious home spa. But one of the talk show king's most beloved spots on the secluded property is right here on the tennis lover's private championship court, an extravagant gift paid for by his bosses at the network. We're at Johnny's court that NBC gave him in appreciation. And we are sitting on the center court bench that Johnny sat on and Wimbledon gave it to him as a gift. It's all enough to make you want to channel Mr. Carson and make these owners an offer they can't refuse. On the western tip of Beverly Hills looms a posh new skyscraper called 10,000. It will cost you much more than 10 grand to live in the penthouse of this luxurious glass tower. I'm standing in the middle of the most expensive high-rise rental in Los Angeles, which will cost you $65,000 a month. Nope, you're not hearing things. So what does this penthouse offer that makes it worth spending the equivalent of a new Lincoln Navigator every four weeks? Million Dollar Listing LA's James Harris is looking for a well-heeled renter who wants to live large atop California's wealthiest neighborhood. Is this not one of the sickest views you've seen in Los Angeles? This incredible penthouse is to die for. It spans almost 4,000 square feet, three bedrooms, 16 foot floor to ceiling with wall to wall glass, three patios, one directly off your master bedroom. And the upper level, just imagine the parties you could have there. The building comes with an exclusive Rolls Royce Phantom dedicated to residences and will take you shopping in Beverly Hills or drop you straight to Los Angeles if you need to catch your flight. On the third floor, there is a room for residences called the Wellness Room, which is dedicated for maybe a facial, esthetician to come in and give you a chemical peel, perhaps a massage, or for what people most commonly use in Los Angeles, Botox. Charlie is the most incredible invention I've ever seen. Charlie is programmed now if you fancy a bottle of champagne or a pack of Cheetos. Charlie will come directly from the lobby into your apartment 
and deliver your every need. If you are a bachelor living in Los Angeles and have $65,000 a month to throw at living in a penthouse, here's where you wanna be. Nestled in the busy streets of Paris, behind these giant doors lies one of the town's most extraordinary residences. The great thing about this townhouse is that you never know it's here. This $46 million hidden gem is located in Paris' ritziest enclave, Saint-Germain. You actually have probably 20 of the wealthiest people in France all in houses in this part of Paris. The massive 18th century mansion unfolds over three floors and more than 10,000 square feet. We can't reveal the owner's name, but we can tell you this. We're talking about a very wealthy entrepreneur who has properties all over the world. And this European man of mystery apparently loves rare art and prehistoric artifacts. He put a giant T-Rex femur on display in the foyer, which happens to be the world's largest privately owned dinosaur bone. But in the grand living room, you're delivered from prehistoric times to 212 BC by this gigantic sculpture of an ancient Greek goddess. If you look at the head of Athena that's just over my shoulder, there are some incredibly expensive pieces in here. The decor then takes a leap into the 1700s with giant chandeliers and marble top tables from France's most regal landmark, the Palace of Versailles. The silk curtains bring us back into modern times. The owner had them custom made and hand embroidered with real gold. Even the bespoke Bosendorfer piano has some cool history. The fact that you two have performed here at a private party, there aren't many houses where you can say that. And there's even fewer homes in the City of Lights that deliver this. A giant secret garden. This is one of the things that really makes this property so unique. Six and a half thousand square feet of your own private space. The owner also went super old school downstairs with a dining room that looks like it belongs in a castle, complete with a dining table crafted from Nordic cattle skin and a six foot wide fireplace. And there are actually 10 working fireplaces in this house. This one in the library burns in the mouth of a gargoyle. But this five bedroom, six bathroom mansion has a few more surprises on the top floor where the master boudoir overlooks the garden and has its own living room, plus a copper-lined shower in his bath, and a silver-leaf-covered dressing room for her. Unfortunately, the $46 million price tag does not include the ancient relics. But everything is a conversation. So for the right amount of euros, the owners will say au revoir to all of it. <laughs>